guys, I'm progressing the story. Jack, are you there? <laughs> oh, hey, Pops. What are you doing here? Stop calling me Pops. Anyway, I have a message for you. A message? From who? From Lady Ridley. Hmm. She's having a birthday party at the castle tomorrow. She wants you to come too. That's what she said at least. Damn right she does. Ridley's feeling better? <laughs> yup. She's right as rain again. Wow. That's great news. But, um... What is it? Why did she invite me? I don't know. Because you're cool. All I know is she asked me to ask you. Anyway, make sure you come, okay? For sure. Hey, wait! I'm not a knight anymore. They won't let me into the castle. Not a problem. Don't worry about it. Here, just show this to the guards. Nice. It's an invitation from Lady Ridley. Now make sure you show up. Do you hear, Jack? I've got to go. <sighs> well, it's good to see Leonard again. Hmm. Obtain Ridley's invitation. A birthday party, huh? Mm hmm. Mm. Well, I don't have much choice. I mean, she did ask me and all. It's kind of a pain, but I guess I have to go. <laughs> oh, shut up, Jack. You're excited. <laughs> Radiata Castle. It hasn't been that long since I left. Feels like ages ago, though. Uh, hi, Mr. Guardman. <laughs> I've got one of these. Mr. Guardman. Okay. Go on in. So grown up, Jack. <clears throat> I need to look up how old Jack is. Like, he can't be. I, I, they tell us in the beginning of the game. I just forgot, actually. Oh, hey, Leonard. Um, can I talk oh? to you? Oh, you came. Lady Ridley's waiting for you. She's in the ballroom on the sixth floor. Sixth floor, got it. So, it's like 9.43 at night. I am super tired and had a shitty day. And I wasn't even going to play, but I just... Really, that way? Okay. But I, I just love this game so much that I, I can't not play. But, um... Is this is the right way. The frick? Oh, that's fucking showing where the save is, not where to go. Ugh, I'm dumb. But yeah, I, I had a shitty day because, one, work was... It sucked. It wasn't a great day of work. Um, but that's over and done. No, this is the restricted area. Then where do I go? Oh. It's locked. Where the frick is the ballroom? I go this way? Probably. Yeah, they pretty much cut you off from anything. Um, but what made matters worse was I got... Uh, how do I say it? I didn't get mugged, but I got tried to be mugged someone tried to mug me um after work i was i went out to my car and you know i fucking got in it and stuff and then i was like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna go through uh, uh what's it called del taco and the line was really long so i was like oh, i'll just go inside that's fine and uh okay i'll tell you guys that story in a minute Fancy smancy. Uh, where's Ridley? There she is. Nice. Talking to generic guards one and two. Hey, look at you. Back on your feet. I knew you were just faking it. 
Jack, you came. Yep. Up. I'm sorry about what happened. Huh? You being fired from the Knights, it was my fault. You're still worried about that? <sighs> hey, it was really no big deal. I mean, if you ask me, the Knights are kind of uptight. Peter Van Core is more my style, you know? I'm glad. <laughs> Listen, Jack, I need to... Ridley. Oh god, it's crass. Oh, him. He doesn't look happy to see us. You're Jack, right? What are you doing here? Huh? Disgraced former members of the knights usually aren't allowed in the castle, are they? Cross, what are you saying? He's here because I invited him. Hey, dick. It's okay. Forget it, Ridley. Listen, I've got to be heading back home. Jack, don't pay any attention to this idiot. Oh! Ouch! You tell him, Ridley. You're starting to sound like your old self again. Jack. Oh, we heard her feelings. If you ever want to talk, stop by my place anytime, okay? See ya! And we literally just run off. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Cross? Jack was one of my guests. No, no. Is that any way for you to talk to your future husband? Oh, bugger off. I don't care what our parents think they decided. I want nothing to do with you. Ha! Now buzz off. <laughs> yeah, they're engaged by, you know, par parental things. Genius. The plot thickens. I even moved my mic close to my mouth to say that. So yeah, as I was saying, um, went to Del Taco and I was like, oh, it's all like fucking the lines were really long, so I'll just go in. I, I'm I don't have a problem with that. But they're uh, they share a what do they do? What do they do? They share a parking lot with Applebee's and apparently, a, what is it Saturday? Yeah, Saturday night. Applebee's is just popping at like 7 p.m. So I was like, oh, I'll just go fucking park in the, what's it called? The, uh, Boo Hoo. What do you mean, nothing for me? But it says to talk to Thanos after that. If it ends. Oh, I've got to wait till 3, do I? Okay, I'll just tell you story time then. So yeah, I walk over, I was like, oh, I'll just go in the was it, Home Depot parking lot, um, and it'll be fine. And so I get out of my car, I go to Del Taco, I order my two half-pound bean cheese burritos, one red, one green, because, you know, and I was like, hey, I'm going to try one of their dollar chicken rollers. It wasn't bad. I got out of there for $3.25, 3 something like that. It's pretty good, but this isn't a food review show. Um, but as I was walking back to my car, this dude, like, he's like, give me your money. And I'm just like, I turned it around. I'm like, wait, what? Like, I was kind of shocked so much so that I wasn't phased by it. I was like, wait, what? He's like, give me your money. I was like, I don't really have any unless you take card. Like, I was just being a smart ass. He's like, I've got a knife. And I looked at his hands like, you do. Yeah, you do. And I've been kind of like... Uh, lately. So I was just like, eh, if he stabs me, he stabs me. Whatever. And I was like, look, man, I'm not going to give him my money. Go away, please. And he's like, I'm going to, you better give me your money. You know? And I was like, I'm not doing that. Go away. Like, stop. I could probably run faster than you. You're kind of chubby. I, I'm not, I don't mean mean, not being to be mean, but he was kind of fat. Um, but anyway, he actually lunged at me. And so I moved because, well, I guess I don't actually want to get stabbed. I found that out. You know, I was like, oh, if I get stabbed, I get stabbed. No, I don't actually want to get stabbed. It sounds painful and really inconvenient. I don't want to go to the hospital and things like that. And so I have not been in a fight since, like, eighth grade. No, fresh, sorry, freshman year of high school. I got into one because people started calling me a girl because I had 
long hair back then, and I was like, leave me the fuck alone. Um, but yeah, so I haven't been in a fight since then, so I was like, do I still know what the fuck I'm doing? That's 14 years ago. I'm 28, by the way. That's 14 years ago that I've actually been physically confrontational. Um, and so I kick him in the back of the knee, and he falls, you know, on that knee because that, and... If I'm assuming his knee like slammed into the fucking uh, asphalt because that's how it looked and it sounds painful and he made noises. Um, you know what? Fuck you, game. It's still my story time. Um, but anyways, I did that and he got up and he lunges at me again and my body's just like, hey, I don't. You might not care, brain, but I don't want to get stabbed. So it moved again. Not against my own volition. I was just like, fuck it, man. I don't care. But no, I didn't get stabbed again. And so I kick him in the back of the same knee. And then I was like, okay, he's obviously going to try to stab me again. So I then kicked him in the back of the head because he was low enough to the ground at that point. And I'm a big fan of Shawn Michaels from pro wrestling. You know, back when it was WWF, even WWE time. But I literally shuffled back and then super kicked him in the back of the head. I got in my car and I drove away. So I kind of feel like a badass tonight. Because I got to super kick someone in the back of the head that tried to stab me and they failed. So that was really cool. But it also kind of ruined my night because, well, that's annoying. No one really wants to get tr attempted stabbed. So yeah, that's my story for the night. So let's see where this game's progressing. So it's like my story plus the game story plus, um, um, Mage Master revealed his face. So that's a story. Yeah, story time, motherfuckers. Oh, hey, it's Genius and Ridley again. Hey, how much further do we have to go? He's gonna rape her. Almost there. Just kidding, he's, he's not gonna rape her. This is actually where the story starts to get really, uh, it starts to gain depth. Which is fantastic, because... Genius, why did you bring me? Guys, be quiet, it's story time. Hmm, we haven't heard this music for a while. Hey, Lord uh, Nogara. Who is that? It's a leader of the Light Elves. Oh. Of course. He looks just like Lord Nogara. There's something I have to tell you. Something terrible. Lord Nogara is dead. The fuck? He can't be. He's been entombed here. That cocoon you see holds Lord Nogara's dead body. This is the graveyard of the elves. It's yep. a place in which the fates of elves and humans are deeply entwined. The graveyard of the elves? Like the elf king of old. My brother lies dead, but why? That ancient king brought the human female and child to that benighted castle. And there the Dark Elves were born, along with Elgandars. For the first time, that terrible disease exposed the immortal elves to death. No one was immune. Even the king himself fell victim to it. It infected and killed him. Now it returns to claim my own flesh and blood. When our bodies decay, and fall away because of disease or age. Elves do not die. The transpiration lets our spirits fly to different bodies where they can mingle with other souls. Mm -hmm. But the cursed Algandars shuts our souls deep, deep within these cocoons. My brother, why did you perform the transpiration on that human girl? See like a good person. To break the natural laws that separate elf and human. Algandars was your inevitable reward. Brother, why in the world did you bring this fate upon yourself? Was this because of me? It's not your fault, Human really. filth. How much will you make us suffer before you are satisfied? Will you take and destroy everything we have? Will you continue? To spread the plague 
to every land in the world? Why were humans sent to try us so? Why, my brother? <laughs> Did Lord Nogueira die because of me? I honestly don't know, but I can tell you one thing. Listen to what Zane is saying and it's obvious. There's a long and tragic history between humans and the other races of the world. We need to find some answers and find them soon. Time is running out. I know there must be something I can do to help. You can help? I'm sorry. I had to show you this. But you needed to know what happened. You're the only human who's ever received a transpiritation. <sighs> Shit's tough on Ridley. Um, but yeah, that's a, a trope I've always loved, um, humans and non-humans having, you know, history, and let's be honest, it's usually the human's fault, um, and in this case, it kind of is. Humans are very, have very short-lived lives, elves are obviously, uh, immortal, so, so long as Al Algandars doesn't take them, um, and so it's what you see in Tolkien, what you see in a lot of other realms of fantasy, be it D&D as well as others. Um, since humans live such short lives, comparatively speaking, they want to progress and make a mark to essentially make themselves immortal in a way, uh, which is what we kind of see happen in our world today as well, or, or forever, really. And that's just, it's interesting seeing when they can now put a, a race in that lives forever. Got work for you, kid. Hurry up and take one of these, will ya? Stone of Miracles, that's the only one we have. After years of research, we have finally located the Stone of Miracles and would like someone to get it. See Kane at Elashin for further details. 10,000 daggles. You're interested in this job? Looks like a cakewalk. Just gotta find a rock, right? I wouldn't be too sure, kid. But whatever, it's your show. Job is from the Elashin Order High Priest. Go talk to him. Oh yeah, and don't forget to check in once you're done. Yes, sir. Uh, now, let's also fill out our party. Because we only have Nocturne, because I was going to go Daggle Tortoise hunting, but I just didn't have the patience to just sit for days to pass. So we've got Nocturne. Um, let's try out Tony. Uh, so I did say we got everyone except for the people that cost money. That was a lie, because we don't have Aiden's dad, which is reliant upon Aiden being level 32. But that being the only blockade... I'm not fussed about it. I'm not going to get him just yet, so we can wait. Um, David is obsessed with... Actually, let's get people in whom we don't have their uh, things yet. So, uh, Defense Plus don't care. Actually, yeah, let's take Gregory. Um, don't care about one defense. Let's be real here. Ten Blaze, you can saw it off. Get free Strength Plus, that's a good one. Jaquel. Okay. Wind. Absor Ooh, absorb HP. That sounds good. Does anybody have... What the fuck does Colossal Power do? I'll look that up later. Probably gonna take the one... Ooh, nine lives. That's a good one. Fierce Defense. Prevent Blaze. Max HP plus. We are taking that. Oh, God. That means we have to have Daniel. And it looks like, uh, Jack is the healer, then. So let's go... Get out of the way, Alba. So let's go talk to Kane from Alashin. What do we have equipped, by the way? High school axe? Yeah, that. Um, in the last... I think I put it up as a note. But I was doing, uh, in the la in the final, uh... When I redid the final axes to see how we would do with the better axe, and we did weaker less damage we were weaker is because uh those guys have a resistance to ice so we did like almost half the damage um wait where's did i just run past kane because he's usually with achilles oh no he's he's gonna be in here for the quest sorry <laughs> nice bow i just have to find the stone of miracles right 
Yes, that is correct. Is there a problem? Not really, um, it's just that... How will I be able to find it if I don't know what it looks like? Do not worry about that. We of the Alashian Order have located the stone after much research. The stone we seek can be found in Septum Cave. Oh, that should be pretty easy then. I hope you can help us. The cave is beyond the Adian region. It will be a long journey. However, I trust you will be able to return to the stone with the stone. Leave it to me! Soon we will have the stone that the late priestess Angela was searching for. This will bring happiness to the people. The stone is that the stone is that powerful? It is said that it can heal all the sick and unwell. So that's why all these important people have been looking for it? Yes. Priestess Anella searched earnestly for the stone. If it weren't for the illness, she would still be with us. She is one of the most remarkable people in our civilization. It sucks when people die. You ignorant fool! What? what You scared me! She disappears somewhere after catching an illness. She is alive. She left so as not to cause grief to others. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Well, leave everything to me. I'll be sure to find you that stone. My ears are popping like crazy. Please keep him safe on his journey. I don't think they ever named the gods. And if someone knows if they do name the gods, uh, let me know where I can find that. Because I, I pretty much want to learn everything. Oh, hey, look. We just left talking to Kane, and there he is. Because um, I do want to learn everything about this game that I can. I mean, the mechanics actually are my least... Are the spot I'm least interested in. Which is why with a uh, music lover telling me about the whole poison someone and then just kind of cheese them. I didn't know that because I never care to look into those types of mechanics. Um, and also, I, t I tend to not like cheesing things, but... We wanted Gerald and Nocturne, and we just couldn't beat him because their vol his at least Gerald's Volti Blast was too strong. Um, so is this one where I go just straight or yeah, just straight? Gotta go uh, right before Garcia's house, actually. Um, I was talking about something before. I think I was talking about race relations. But yeah, after hearing the story of the game and my story of the night, uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, anyone have any, you know, cool things happen to them lately or anything bad even? Um, I mean, hopefully nothing bad's happened, obviously. Um, but you know, yeah, like, anything... Oh, I ran right into that pig. Anything worthwhile talking about uh, showing up in your guys' lives lately? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta... Let's get into it. What am I doing? Can do attack link. Come on. I can do this. Attack link! Does your kill have uh steel? I can't remember. Alright! Hey, good job, Gregory. It's a really cool um spear actually. That's a good amount of money. Even now, 400 is still a good bit of change. So we can't complain about that. I'm actually curious. Um so Iron Axe. Da the Daniel Blow. Downward swing. He looks like a farmer doing daily work. Wow. Okay, so he can steal. Very cool. He rarely succeeds, so he's a shitty one. That sucks. And uh, weak thrust, sweep thrust, power thrust. Cool. Okay, it looks like his is um, earth-based like I thought. Again, you can just tell because of the color. Damn it, I ran right into it again. Like, I, I saw it and my brain was just like, I don't care. Attack link! Let's, uh... Get that guy out of the way. Get that bad guy out of the way. Get that bad guy out of the way. That'll teach you. Damn right it will. I mean, Gregory looks really cool. I like his helmet. I like his spear. I like his armor. I like that cure needle. It's like, it's a win all around. It's just this way, yeah? Yep, Septum region. Let's go. Fraggle. Oh well, we technically need to get into fights anyways if we want to learn. Uh, let's just line link it. Line link. I do like the line link quite a bit. <laughs> Yams. Gotcha, Kel's a big guy. That's such a weird looking axe. Like it looks like boobs with nipples. Just gonna say it. It does, and it's it's weird. Like it's it's weirdly oddly proportioned. I don't know. It's not a fan of the axes in this game. I wish they had a mace category. Or just that if, you know, maces and, and axes were synonymous even. That'd be cool. Oh, 
Oh, look at the moon. It's got a little face on it. Let's fight this cactus. I don't think I've shown you guys me fighting. That's not how I am supposed to speak. Yeah, I don't think I've shown you guys me fighting a uh, cactus yet. Get out of here, you stupid thing. Um, ah, uh, oh, whatever. That's box link. We don't see the box link very often. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, you're not trying. Yeah, I am, dude. Don't be rude. Did Daniel just get knocked over? What a pansy. I don't like Daniel. But he has a good skill, so we want... Ooh, good experience. Oh, wow, he's only level 12. <laughs> oh, that's sad. I did not know that. However, that HP plus is really useful. Um, especially had we tried to do Gerald the legit way. Because his specific uh, Volte Blast does a fixed amount of damage. I don't really know why, but it does. Also, things in here are very ice-based, so I don't want to use that. Um, let's use the Grand Saber. Yeah, I, I kind of like two-hand swords right now. I'm digging them. I'm digging them. And there's also a really rare monster in here. Um, oh, wait, no. Do the thing. There's a rare monster in here that I believe gives you one of every... Um, um, fairy, if I remember properly. The killer queen. Oh, don't do that. Oh, Gregory got a... Uh, oh, fuck. Come on. Stop. Stop it. Am I... Can I move, please? Alright, let's heal his face. Don't! Jackass. Well, we're not going to resurrect it with, um, with the thing, the Celestial Nectar, because that would be silly. We will just, uh, let him essentially auto-revive out of combat, and then I will... Ooh, left out! And then, uh, give him, like, a little cheap heal, and then use Circle Song. Am I out of the goods? I am out of the goods, darn. Okay, used it for one guy. That's fine. Oh, we already went down there. Ah, oh, go away. Ah, oh, you go away too. Get away from me. This is where we uh, saved, was it Bran and Wise, I think? But we never went further, because I told you we would be back. I'm so tired. I need to go lie down. It's been a hell of a day. Circle Song does, I believe, 30% of uh, someone's maximum health. Jeez, Daniel, your life sucks, doesn't it? And we can't... Man, we can't even do the links because fucking... What's-his-face is poisoned. I think poison persists through death, too. Is Jaquel rubbing his belly? That's creepy. That's creepy. Let's use a cure needle on him. drop, not needle, my bad. But yeah, let's definitely try to see if that uh, rare spawn is in here, because it'd be pretty cool to get attacked by a grasshopper. Uh, one of each, one of every uh, thing, berry. And go! Fuck off! Not working out on it too. Let's just use attack link. Alright, oh, there's still another one. I've got the final blow. Please be your kill. I want to see this thing. Damn it! I want to see Daniels. Boom! Imagine doing a game playthrough where all you use is Daniel. Uh, Clive, and who else sucks? Marietta, the chick that always trips. I'm sorry, when, some, when, when a move for somebody is tripping, 
that's bad. Alright. Right. No, bugger off. That's right. Good job, Gregory. Redirect your attacks when you. I wonder if... Oh, my wrist hurts, too. I wonder if... you. I don't know. I don't know. Strength plus! Yeah, I want to learn that, though. <laughs> Alright, I need to... Um... Wow. Get some... Out of my way. Okay, I need to have a, a speed, a more speedy weapon. Shao, where is our Medusa spear? There we go. Daniel, you suck. You suck so badly. Hey, her back check. And save multi level. Sweet. That'll really help when we are in links. Uh, the higher level it is, the better. You know, things like that. 